75. College football game between the Michigan Wolverines and the Fighting Illini of Illinois. The wind is uh, somewhere between 20 25 miles an hour. It could be a factor. It's blowing left to right. In other words, CM Beckles will have it at his back as he kicks off. He gets very good height on the ball. It's at the four for Howard. Down at the 24. Gingerly walked through Sunday and Monday, practiced on Tuesday, starts today. Tony Bowles is the tailback, and he has the ball. Goes over the top for two after the 26. Bunch and Bowles, you see. The wideouts, two of the best in the land. Chris Calloway and Greg McMurtry got good size to go with their speed. Walker is a dinged up tight end. They are short of people out there. Doring, Dingman, Everett, Elliott, Strepanak. It'll be second down, eight. Taylor, bowls again, searches a little bit on the right side and pops out. It is now a foot race. Tony Bowles on his way, can 18 catch him? Jones reaches, Jones grabs, drags him down. Henry Jones saved the touchdown. 73-yard scamper. And they leave Bowles in the game. You'd think he'd come out for a breath, but no, sir. There's a touchdown to be scored on first and goal from the one to the big man, Jared Bunch. Touchdown, Michigan. And Michigan takes the lead by a score of seven. The pin will hit it. Carlson knocks it under the wind, bounces it down the field. It gets away from Stephen Williams. And Williams, juking around, will get back to the 15, and he's lucky to get back that. And the University of Illinois, in its opening possession, have been very effective this year. Wagner, Lester, the tailback, and Howard Griffith, the fullback. And the ball goes to the veteran, Howard Griffith, the 225-pound junior. Wagner Lester is a true freshman at that tailback position. Sean Wax and Mike Bellamy, the wideouts. Up front, Illinois. Not as big as Michigan, but certainly big enough. 290, 295, 270, 280, and 270. Steve Fagan, number 44, steps into the game now. He is another true freshman. So these two freshmen alternate and do very well. As George comes with his first pass, and that's what he's been doing all year. That is a bottom line. Uh, they're going to have to cover up that section of the field. Marshall and Abrams very quick outside. J.J. Grant coming back off injury, as you see, the Michigan defensive alignment. Grant and Anderson are your inside backers. They've got to cover that short zone area, and uh, the hole is plugged very quickly, and they're not to go to a split. So they move around a lot which sets up George here to pass. And he hums it again, and he's got uh, Williams, Stephen Williams, the fifth-year senior. Play a little better, too. And so they've been, I had to call them off a couple times. I thought they were going to kill us. <laughs> On a rollout, George buys time, goes deep, pass down the middle, incomplete, and you're going to get an interference call. And the Illini now have three first down. Michigan scoring in the opening possession, a 73-yard run by Tony Bowles setting it up. Michigan leading 7 to nothing. They give the ball to Wagner Lester. And the freshman tailback pops up. And had it not been for Veda Murray getting him by the coattail, they go to a one-back now with Griffith, the lone remaining back. Finky the tight end drops off the line. First down at the Michigan 18-yard line. George, a little straight drop. Gets some heat, gets it off. Pass is good. Pass is caught by Bellamy. Craig Schneider, 68, big in. Tackle is out of there for the moment. The Illini run it off the right side. Griffith carries it. And this play's got pass all over it. Little whip over to Steve Williams, and he's got the first down at the seven. Lester in uh, Griffith now in the backfield behind George, and it is Lester. Four. Need a place on this team, and he's it. We're tied. 
tied. Anderson, number 37, sees the toss, gets over it, gets blocked. Two great blocks. And Griffith gets into the end. The first quarter, it's even at seven. Tough game for both of them. The kick, good carry with the wind. A yard deep in the end zone. Here comes Desmond Howard. Penalty flag goes down. Two or three of them as Howard gets back to penalty. Backs Michigan to its eight-yard line, and that's where they will start first down. Get some field position out of it. Taylor to Bowles. And Tony Bowles up to the 12. It's second down and six. Taylor's first pass, setting up a screen and overthrows it. Taylor pops out. Reaches for his first down and gets it. Michael Taylor. Horde is in there now. Leroy Horde is the tailback behind Jared Bunch. Horde has the ball. And he got warmed up. Taylor's pass to the sideline. Good. That's a very tough catch, but that catch was good for the first down out to the 31 yard line. And so the Wolverines now with some room behind them. Room with their back. Will hand it to Horde, and he's got a block on the corner. And Horde will punish you. And they run today over to Iowa. Shut him out. Much in the backfield. Taylor fakes it, comes it, and has it batted back in his face at the line of scrimmage. 7 7 tie. First quarter. Leroy Horde runs to the 46-yard line. Third down and a long six. Taylor gets the heat. Mo Gardner gets him. Mo Gardner with his first sack of the day. The nose guard for Illinois, who leads the Big Ten in tackles for a loss. They were trying for the block. That's a critical mistake, too, oh, because boy. it's a... And so a break for Michigan. to about the 45. He has the ball, and he runs right into uh, number 96, Mel Agee. Third down, they send Horde in motion, and Taylor will pass it. Down the middle, pass is good to Derek Walker, tied in, and he's right on the marker. They have a first down at the Illini 38. Leroy Horde. Oh, second down and five for right third of Michigan. Staying in the wishbone. Taylor option keeping. Pitches back late to Horde, and they'll get a yard or so out of it. The wideout has not seen the ball so far today. Michigan goes to a double tight end, uh, wishbone formation. Trying to turn the corner, loses his footing. 12 for 12, he hits from 47 yards. That is a new Michigan record. 202 to play in the first quarter. And the Wolverines have gone back to the lead by a score of 10 to 7. Kickoff gets very high, is going to hang there is taken at the six-yard line by Mike Bellamy. And Bellamy with a good return to the 30. And it's Lester tailback shifting over. I'll take it, 44. And Jeff George rolling around looking, gets it off, and they dumped it off to uh, Griffith. Into the win by J.D. Carlson. It's 10-7 Michigan right now. This is Fagan, the freshman from Florida. And he's up to the 30. Move him around a little bit, but I don't think you're going to get a lot of sacks because he's not going to allow you to do that. Now, if you hurry him some and he can, uh, and he can throw a bad one or two, well, that, that would be the hard one. One year, one of the fewest 
sack teams in the league. Incidentally, Frank Schneider is back in the ball game, having been taken up early. And he's the guy that threw that big block. George again with a quick shot to the side. And it's his tight end, Pinky, with the numbers on Jeff George. Another Illinois first down. 53 seconds to go, first quarter. This is Griffin. Inside the 10 to the 9. This is Fagan. Cut down at the line of scrimmage. Uh, Petratus is in. Bellum uh, Griffith is in. Bellamy to the top of the picture. George looks at Bellamy. Bellamy's in the end zone. George getting pressure. Bounces the ball into the wind. Illinois will try a 25-yard field goal. If it's good, the game will again be tied. It is good. Beta Murray took his best leap at it and came up short. And so once again, we're all even. Puts it down the field, kind of sails around in the wind, takes a funny little bounce, and is picked up by Tony Bowl. See how quick he is? There's an Illinois man had him in his sights. He holds and bunch behind Michael Taylor. Bowles over the left side. Brown Low and Glasson, 48 and 41, are there. Which the state's going to go to the bowl this year. Probably a pretty good one. Well, the big man has no place to go, folks. Right. It's good. Second down and six. George stays with the grand game. That'll go for about a yard. Wagner Lester. They have five defensive backs in there on this down. There's a look at Lloyd Carr, defensive coordinator. The word rattle is very obvious in his conversation this week. They have only one time been able to get to Jeff George. That one is good down the middle of Williams. And Williams uh, goes for the big play and a first down at the Michigan 38-yard line and number 22. And Illinois crouching again. George has a bundle of time and the pass is dropped by Bellamy. Michael had it. No pressure on George. They go to Griffith and they run it. On second down and ten, and now, now I want defense first. It's third and six. Look out of the shotgun, got some heat that time. You see that he will get rid of it. Brent White gets it high. Gets the right kind of a bounce on it. Oh my gosh, and they knocked it into the end zone. Illinois kids pursuing the ball, knocked it in the end zone. Happy birthday, Happy Elizabeth. Happy birthday is right. Now if they can just win the ball game, huh? This is Tony Bowles cutting it over the right side up to about the 26. Michigan now on 17 carries today has 115. Ford is your tailback. They give it to Leroy, and he's hit behind the line of scrimmage by number 90, Brian Williams. Third down and about five. Little quick pop to McMurtry. And Greg McMurtry at first down for the Wolverines at their own 37. Taylor fakes to Bowles, goes with it down the middle for Callaway. Knocked down by Mike Hopkins. Second down and 10. Horde is the tailback. Howard's in motion. Ford with the ball, bouncing around, looking for some help. Does all of that on his own. Third down and six. Taylor's pass is in a crowd, and it is caught by McMurtry. Can you believe it? He goes down. The ball pops out. He is down. There is no fumble. And it's another first down for Michigan at the Illinois 40. 
Taylor option cuts back into the middle and run down from behind by Brian Williams. Fulton Horde. Setbacks on second down and eight. Taylor, that little shovel pass to Leroy Horde, and he runs it to the 34 yard line. Third down, long four. Crowd getting into it. Pressure coming. Taylor gets it away. It is Bowles running in the middle. He's got the first down. Butts heads and goes to the 12. Great run by Tony Bowles. And he's still in there as the Michigan and the Wolverines go to the wishbone set from the 12 yard Reverse. line. Reverse it to Desmond Howard to the three. It is second down from the three. Second down and two for the first down. Taylor, touchdown. for the point good and the clock stops at 4 34 to go in the first half 17 to 10 there wasn't a lot of depth with the win Carlson knocks it beyond the field of play plenty of time 4 34 to go in the first half George is 7 of 11 now for 98 yards Fagan's in motion, George back, no pressure, pumps it once, still all day, now drops it off at the 20, and that'll be nothing. That's Williams in motion on second down and 10, and they run it up the middle, and Steve Fagan, penalty flag as he's taken down. Face mask call, and it goes against Michigan. You're going all out blitz. That's an inadvertent face mask call. Five yards. George back. Here comes some pressure. He dumps it off. He got his screen set up for the tailback, Lester. Number 87. You might keep an eye on him. George back. They pop it quickly down the middle to Hartley, the other tight end. They had gone to a double tight end alignment. First down for the Illini. Quick, Dalek chasing back, gets some heat on him, he dumps it off, pass no good. Michigan leading 17 to 10, it is second down, and 10, Illinois. Here's Fagan coming to the outside, he's very quick, he's taken down right at the line of scrimmage. Three timeouts, the Illini with the ball right now, two timeouts, and a deep drop for George, down the middle it goes, it's a good catch in traffic by Sean Wax. The first time Wax has seen the ball to... He's looking for Bellamy, no, just a little high, and Bellamy had gotten loose. Moment for Michigan, and it's second down from the Wolverine 28. Got him this time. They finally sack him. Alex Marshall and Bobby Abram, the 38-yard line. 10-yard loss. George bouncing around at midfield. Sets it up for Howard Griffith. Griffith out there with Welburn. Welburn is taken down on the block. And a penalty flag is thrown. <laughs> this is career long, 52 yards. 52 for Doug Higgins. And so Michigan makes the right decision since he is looking into the win. And the Wolverines take over at their own 35 after the missed try. And Taylor loads it up and lets it fly for McMurtry. The ball is thrown out of bounds. And the Illini with that big 21-yarder to wax. And Michael Taylor takes the snap this time, puts a knee down. Lock the Rose Bowl. USC can lock the Rose Bowl today. Here's a high kick. The wind's going to take it beyond the field of play, and Illinois will George the quarterback. They open with Griffith and Lester in the backfield behind him. Bellamy in one of the wideouts, and George takes a deep drop on the first play and has all day, and now runs out of time, and they're going to get him at the 22-yard line. So 
Looks like they've had George sacked. They've only got him one time. Uh, several times they've had a shot at him, but he gets rid of the ball so quickly. Jeff is back to throw again. Again, nobody to throw to. Now he tries to touch one in and does a beautiful play to Bellamy. Less to the tailback. Has the ball. Strong is 210 pounds, and he keeps on pounding. Second down and four. That's Fagan, the other freshman tailback, and he'll get a yard. George goes to the shotgun now on third down. He's got Bellamy. And Bellamy has a first down. No pressure. Georgia passes high. Trying to set up a screen and can't do it. Intended for Wagner Lester on the near side. Sean Wack, who's caught up one ball today, is at the top. Williams comes underneath. George with somebody hanging on to his foot. Throws it intended for Bellamy and it's short hops. And now as Michigan stops Illinois and Brian gets it away into the wind. Trip Welburn comes up on a fair catch call and tumbles down. I was involved with the Washington Huskies back in those days. 12-0-1 to go in the third quarter. Michigan's first chance with a football to start the second half. And incidentally, they are on the rug here at Illinois. Michael Taylor gives it to Bunch. Bunch out to about the 22, and let's go to Roger Twyman. It is third down and eight. Michael Taylor's pass for McMurtry is no good. Get 50 shots on it. Here it goes. Woo, all the way back to the 12 goes Stephen Williams. And down inside the 20 by Trip Wellborn. George on first down, rolls it. Little play action, throws it underneath. The pass good to Dan Donovan, a tight end. At Fagan has the first down. And blows it up to the 37, close to the 38. Partly, one of the tight ends now is flexed back into a slot position. George back. Let's it go underneath, incomplete. J.J. Grant was the only man close to the ball. There's a time to throw it away and say, I'll come back to the next play. Second and 10, run a little delay with uh, Fagan. And I see Grant, I see uh, third down and eight now for Illinois. Michigan leading 17-10, third quarter. Second possession of the second half for the Illino. George throws short of the first down. That's going to be a half a yard short of it. They're back in the final quarter. Ryan, a former quarterback, gets a decent roll on it, and it'll be dead around the 22-yard line. The blue has the ball right now as Taylor sets up to go deep for McMurtry. No. That's a good defensive play. Tony Bowles. Roll down just short of the 25 by. Intercepted. Henry Jones. Penalty flag, out of bounds around the 23. So from the 31, call it now, after the penalty, first down. And George back trying to cash it in, goes underneath, there's nobody deep, pass good to Lester, and Wagner Lester will go down around the 25-yard line. George buys some time, now goes to the end zone for Sean Wax. And just missed him. Wax is 6'4", the other way's 180, so he's, he's a lanky fellow. There's a good throw, there's a good catch by Camino Bell. And Bell is hit at the 15th. A punt, 
to the corner. Bellamy. No, too high. Second down, 10 from the 13. Griffith and Lester are the setbacks. Ford gives it to Lester. And Lester, big strong youngster. That's why they convert a lot of these third down situations. 73,000. And 69 watching now here at Memorial Stadium. And George with a little quick pop. That's, uh, that's a short hop. That's a short hop. I thought it was a short hop. Next man coming from the left. Outstanding oh, catch. Oh, what a catch. Outstanding catch. Holy smokes. And they're going to go for it. They're going to tie. Going for the tie. Fourth and one for the first down. George back. Gets it out. Incomplete. And Michigan has held. Michigan goes to a wishbone set with Horde and Bowles both back there. Give it instead to punch. Illegal substitution to call. Taylor gets it up across the 10. It's the fullback. Gerald Bunch for the first down. Close. He's really about five, nine and a half. And he'll plug a hole for you. Ford is the tailback. Has the ball. On third down and five with three wideouts. Taylor wants to throw it. He gets away from the crowd, breaks loose, and gets his first down. Ball rolling around. He's down. It is first down, just over the 30 for Michigan. Tony Bowles missed by Williams. Penalty flag down. Bowles a tough run for nine yards. You may have a holding call coming up. Yep. What? On first down, Michael Taylor back to throw it. Has time, gets it off. Pass is complete for Chris Callaway. And two pretty fine ones right behind him. Second down, go to Bowles. Penalty flag, he tries to shake one man. There's your holding. Second down now. It's about 15. Leroy Horde checks in a tailback. Here comes the blitz. They pick it up. Taylor's pass is down the middle. Good. Caught by McMurtry for a first down. They lost their opening game by five to Notre Dame. Taylor, a little bit of a delay. Hands it away to Horde. And Leroy Horde is gang back on going. Taylor with a little option. He is finally run down from behind. It was 92, Sean Streeter. That's Bowles back in there at the tailback position now. Taylor setting up a screen. Bowles has it. Gets his hole. And good defensive reaction by Illinois. Stapleton's punt is away. Good kick into the wind. Goes into the end zone. He was trying to kill it. 11-16 to play in the ball game. And first down, Illinois at their own 20. Michigan 17, Illinois 10. That's Sean Wax in motion. They'll run it on the first play with Howard Griffith picking up two yards. George. Gets some pressure from the backside, gets his pass away. The pass may be good. If so, it's a heck of a catch by Griffith. Yard and a half. Griffith. He got it. 24 to 3 over Arizona. George is back. Pressure from behind. And he gets a lick late on him. Go, go, go. Penalty flag and in 
incomplete forward pass. The illegal use of hands. So they accept the penalty, make it second down for him. Oh, what a good catch by Hartley, the tight end. Griffith will lose a yard. Second, 11. Eight minutes, 38 seconds to play in the game. Michigan, 17. Illinois, 10. Griffith will lose another yard. Third down and 12. Out of the shotgun. George rolls buying time. No pressure out there. Let's it fly for Stephen Williams. Incomplete. And that's very good coverage back there. Shank takes a big bounce and Wilburn does the right thing in their rushing coach. So the Illinois folks are getting grudging along that offensive uh, defensive front. Michael Taylor wanted to throw big, now bounces outside and picks up a first down. Go back to the play for a second. Michael Taylor gives it to Bowles, and Bowles this time finds a little working room, picks up about six yards. But soon the Simpsons Bowl, they're going to have about 60 this year, and next year they'll have 70 odd thousand seats for their bowl game. They've done a great job in Orlando. And that looks like a first down. Taylor lets it go. That's too high. Thrown in the cheap seats. The numbers on the right hand side of the screen really tell you the whole story. Leroy Horde, the tailback. Michael Taylor keeping it. And another Michigan first down. Bunch. And he gets a bunch. About eight. Second down, three. Taylor keeps it again. Another first down. And run out of bounds inside the 25. First down at the 23. Of Illinois. And now the big man gets it again, but that his forward progress is going to be close to the 20. to Jared Munch. Munch again, and he'll go down about the line of scrimmage now on second down and about 10. And he has the ball up the middle. He's got a touchdown. Carlson knocks it through. Uh, they, they, had, they had themselves a time last night watching the movie. Things uh, would be altogether different. All Michigan kicking off. Center. Five yard line for Stephen Williams. Down at the 19. Working out of the shotgun now, obviously. George gets it away. Pass is good to Stephen Williams. He's at the 41-yard line. They only have two timeouts remaining. First down at the 40 for the Illini. That's going to be picked off by Trent Welburn. He tried to force one, and see you later. Welburn stepped right in front. The intended receiver never had a chance. Taylor will give it to Jared Bunch now and just let him move around. And then they have a week off and they close. I guess they don't take a week off. They, they close with Ohio State on the 25th. So, uh, first time any Big Ten coach won back-to-back -back coach of the year's their first two years in the league. That'll get a penalty flag. 
issue has been settled. Michigan has uh, less something. They've got a lot of game or two games left in a bowl appearance this year, but they return uh, nine players on defense and uh, seven players on offense. And there were no real big long runs. There was in the first quarter. This is Jared Bunch. Just bouncing off people, bouncing people off himself. The winners and the losers. Lloyd Carr on the left. John Makovic is building a good program. Jeff George will win a lot of ball games here before they graduate. That'll do it. The clock is running. They're going to let it run out. As two of its favorite sons meet in the center of the field. And Michigan now with a big step up. So your final score you see reflected there. 24-10. The Big Ten standings now.